my time. <laughs> um, Just kidding, Rambo. I'm, I'm concerned by a number of things. One is that uh, this seems to have been put together, even though it's, a, you know, it's the end result of a process that's gone on for a couple of years. But as far as the retirees were concerned, you know, most of that, most of the, a lot of this information just showed up, you know, like tomorrow morning. And there was very little opportunity for the retirees to um, review the latest recommendations and uh, act upon them. Considering that, I'm fairly impressed with the turnout. I think had it been different, the turnout probably would have been a whole lot more. And I'm concerned that the, um, that while th these recommendations, at least the CEO uh, recommendations, um, kind of opened the door of, to moving us toward a defined contribution plan or something resembling that, um, that there doesn't appear to have been a, paired with that a process for, I mean, it's kind of, um, Allison kind of, you know, hinted at it, but um, for a periodic review of the um, whole health of the plan, um, taking, looking at the other side, you know, where the excess earnings are going, if we had, um, you know, looked at all of this and setting up a reserve a couple of years ago or a few years ago when, when the excess earnings were really high and then started creating a reserve to, to you know, to, to set aside enough to fund the program out uh, three to five years in advance, we probably wouldn't be in this place right now. And even, even as it is, you know, it's funded through um, the end of June of 2010. So um, I agree, the, the market's in terrible shape and we need to be concerned and we need to participate. But um, you know, I don't think the uh, sky is quite falling as much as some are suggesting. Thank you, Mr. Ford. Dennis Huey, followed by Terry Melvin, please. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, board members, uh, I'm Dennis Huey. I'm a retiree. I'm also the uh, retiree's uh, representative to the retirement board. And I also participated in the uh, development of the recommendation uh, from the ad hoc retirement uh, committee uh, to the CEO. And uh, I first of all, I want to thank uh, Supervisor Smith for uh, well allowing me to bend her ear yesterday, um, and 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 seeing the light of of uh, of the recommendation that uh, that was that came forth from the retirement board, uh, not so much because of the recommendation itself, but because of the process that it went through. Uh, it was a process that was looked at based on the compiled and evaluated data. It was talked about long and hard at two, uh, on two different levels, but more importantly, it was it was then further uh, passed on to uh, to a board filled with these people, your retirees, who weren't afraid to to say speak their piece, to argue against the points that were being made, uh, and we had a dialogue. We had a very a hard dialogue about what was acceptable and, and, and the choice and the recommendation here is certainly difficult for some people, me included, uh, but nevertheless it went through a valid process and, and we came away from that, that discussion not three days ago uh, with a consensus and we believe and I believe at this point that as hard as the times are uh, that recommendation is the w recommendation that makes the, the most sense at this point because, as I, I mentioned to the retirees, it, it buys us a little bit of time. You know, th this system, this system, this benefit has been funded uh, with excess earnings. It has not touched a dollar one of, of the county general fund. And, and nobody knows better than I, having been on the other side several years ago, protecting the general fund, how important that is to you. And as a board member, uh, I will make sure that that, that never happens with, with the with Board of Supervisors, if I can help it. 
Um, and when we return to a period of continued excess earnings, this problem basically goes away. But for the, for the meantime, the problem, the problem is real. And, and by this recommendation, uh, your retirees have stepped up to the plate. They've said we're willing to give $400,000 or whatever that amount is as a gesture of their good faith to keep their benefit alive and well. And again, I thank you for considering their recommendation and no other. Thank you. Terry Melvin, followed by Budge Campbell. Boy, how do you follow that? Um, I guess I guess you follow it by saying I know why the air conditioning's on. It kind of reminds me of when I was in Fargo, North Dakota, testifying, and the judge said, "Boy, it's cold here." And I said, "How cold?" He said, "All the attorneys have their hands in their own pockets," and I apologize to you for that. I want to. What, what I'd like to do today is I'd like you to put your hands in your own pockets and take them out of ours. Um, I made a lot of phone calls to a lot of people.